Hi guys, so today we have a fun video that I've been thinking about doing and I know that you guys love my cassette related videos so I thought this would be super fun to do. I recently went out into our garage and got my uncle's little um, cassette storage thing um, to hopefully organize and put my cassettes in because these are kind of hard to find and they're affordable if you can find them thrifting, but if you're trying to find them online, they're a little expensive because of shipping and everything and how much they weigh. So I'm hoping to be able to thrift some of these in the future, but this is a really nice one because it has three slots, but when I took it out of the garage, I had no idea that there were actually cassettes inside of it. So today, we're gonna go through and see what awesome cassettes my uncle has inside and um, see if there's anything good. This is it. I cleaned the outside, but I haven't cleaned the inside because, again, I haven't gone through it. So I don't know what's in here. You guys are going to have to let me know if any of this stuff is good um, or not. And I'm going to keep it no matter what. But we're going to see if I know any of these people or anything. Um, I have shown you guys a few of my uncle's cassettes in my previous uh, cassette videos, like in my very first um, cassette collection video. In this first one, we have Helix. So this one is Long Way to Heaven. This is what it looks like. So the kids are all shaken. Deep Cuts the Knife. Long Way to Heaven. House on Fire. Helix sounds familiar, but I honestly have no idea. Like, I couldn't tell you, but I guess that's interesting and he must have really liked them because there's another one and this one's walking the razor's edge rock you feel the fire when the hammer falls see when the hammer falls sounds familiar for some reason six strings nine lives you keep me rocking definitely gonna end up like going on youtube and listening to some of these bands that we discover if you guys have any song suggestions let me know next up we have another one that he's got two of really cool uh red cassette cases i don't think i've ever seen red ones before crocus so we have the blitz and headhunter so I don't know if maybe these are meant to like go together or maybe this band just always put out their cassettes in these red cases, but I think they look super freaking cool. I love the colored plastic. I think that's awesome. Are the cassettes red? No, this one's white. Is this one white? Yes, so they're both white standard cassettes. 85 and 84 some 80s kind of like rock I'm gonna assume so we have merciful fate uh, don't break the oath never heard of this one I have I could not tell you this is what this one looks like I'm gonna assume another kind of like heavier rock music maybe like metal just by the art artwork I have no idea dangerous meeting nightmare the oath gypsy welcome princess to hell princess peach what are you doing Y and T in rock we trust this is from 84 as well rock and roll is gonna save the world masters and slaves I'll keep on believing break out tonight don't stop running driving me crazy she's a liar Gonna assume another kind of like rock um, group. I don't know, I feel really bad, but like, I, I don't know. Were these like big bands or were these more like underground bands in the 80s? Let's see, this one is Saxon Crusader. Ooh, interesting cover work for this one. I really like this. That one looks really cool. Um, this one is also 84. Sailing to America, Just Let Me Rock, Bad Boys Like to Rock and Roll, White Cassette again. All these are in really good condition, by the way. I love how so many of these have, like, some sort of robot on the cover. Like, these are all different bands, but they've got some sort of robot-like 
thing on the cover of them. Um, this one's autograph. Sign in, please. Let's see what you did there. I don't know. I would think that, like, li listing some of the song titles, I would know some of these. I feel really bad, but this is a lot of good stuff to look into. This one is Honeymoon Suite, The Big Prize. Oh, this one's a clear cassette, and this was put out in... 1985 again. Bad attitude, feel it again, wounded, words in the wind, all along you knew, once the feeling take my hand. I don't know. I feel like this cover's very familiar, but I have no idea. <laughs> this looks like it might be a little more my speed. I mean, I do like some metal, and I do like rock music, but if it's I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that stuff. I'm very intrigued. This one, um, I don't know. The cover just reminds me of, like, the white stripes or something, but... Very, uh, interesting cover there. Looking a little, a little spicy, a little scary, a little... Maybe BDSM-like. <laughs> um, New Girl Now, Burning in Love, Wave Babies, Stay in the Light, and this was put out in 84 as well. Honeymoon Suite. That's another one where there's two of them. Black and Blue. A self-titled clear cassette. This was put out in... Did I just... I just broke it. Oh, it was already broken. The thing's missing. So this is a self-titled Hold On to 18 Wicked Bitch. Chains Around Heaven, One for the Money, Show Me the Night. But definitely really intrigued by this one, believe it or not. Not sure exactly why. Could be the amazing 80s hair. Um, but definitely going to be looking into this one for sure. We have Mega Death. So far, so good. So what? Explicit lyrics, parental advisory that has a little sticker on it. That's so crazy. Love the artwork for this one. Really excited about this one. This one's fucking dope. Okay. Into the lungs of hell, set the world afire, anarchy in the UK, Mary Jane. I don't know, I don't know if I've listened to any of these songs by Megadeth, but I'm super excited about this one. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one in the collection. That's, that's fantastic. And it's a clear cassette, so that's super cool. That's awesome. And I love the little sticker. I'm getting a kick out of that. So we got two there that we're gonna definitely be listening to. Mod. Method of Destruction. USA for Mod. There's a lot of songs on here. Holy crap. A lot of tracks on this one. This is the whole track list right here. These are all songs. Oh my god, yeah, look at how thick the tape is. We have White Snake, Slide It In. Slow and Easy. Guilty of Love, Hungry for Love, Give Me More Time. Ah, I'm like finding out ooh, things I shouldn't. Oh wow, this white cassette is clean though. I wonder if that means he, like, never listened to it, though. Maybe I shouldn't be going through these, you know? This was put out... Warner Music. Uh, 84 again. Interesting titles. I'm also intrigued by this one. I love the album art for this. I think this is probably one of my favorites that I've seen so far. I, I got no clue how you say that. Queen's... Rye? Rach? Rach? Oh, we have another black and blue! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, black and blue! You were intriguing to me. Give me more. I love it. Without Love contains a bonus song. Blue Roses on the cover. Love this. That's cool. Aldo Nova. Not sure about this one. Fantasy, Hot Love, It's Too Late, Ball and Chain, Heart to Heart, Fooling Yourself. 82. This is the oldest one that we've seen so far. Interesting. I'm sure there's so many people watching this video laughing at me for not knowing these. Next up, we have two Cheap Trick albums. Okay. We have Cheap Trick in color and Cheap Trick standing on the edge. That's pretty cool. Excited about these. 
This one's called March of the Saint by Armored Saint. Look at that. They go together. It's like the before and the after. <laughs> Out of all of these, I'm putting aside a pretty good chunk to listen to some... I'm gonna have to make like a playlist or something and give these a try. A very interesting choice here. They all kind of seem to be in the same gauge of like, um genre, I'm gonna assume. Know that my uncle had very interesting taste. Um, not surprised though. I think my dad even knows some of these because I think when I picked these up, it's been a while, so I think it's been almost a year since I got these, um, I told my dad about some of the bands and I think my dad said that some of these might even be his, so that's interesting to note. And let me know if any of these are like fantastic, if you love any of these albums, if you know any of these albums, and if you think that I should check them out if they're ones I didn't set aside, let me know. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.